Thanks for listening to The Spark, medical education for curious minds, where we bring you the latest ideas and insights from faculty, students, and staff in UCSF's medical education community. I'm Megan O'Connor, instructional designer with the Technology Enhanced Education Group. And I'm Karen Fleming, communications manager for the Office of Medical Education. In this episode, we'll hear from School of Medicine Dean Dr. Talmadge King as he reflects on his medical career highlights and inspirations, and a first-year medical student with his thoughts on what's most exciting about medical school at UCSF. Let's go to the interview with Dr. King. Looking back over your career and reflecting on medical school, who are the mentors, teachers, and or patients who especially inspired and motivated you, and how? I went to Harvard Medical School, um, and so it was uh, it was a real opportunity to go there, like a student coming here to UC- UCSF. This is one of the best places to study, and for me, and for several other students like me, the concern was, did I belong? And so, really having a mentor and someone around me who who would inc- who would let me know that in fact I did belong there and that I wasn't an imposter and that you know that that they were there to help me learn what I needed to learn um, I think was very helpful and the person that I probably remember the most being helpful that way was uh, Dr. Alvin Poussant who um, was a professor at Harvard at the time and uh, as an underrepresented minority going to Harvard. Um, He was actually very helpful in helping us integrate into the community. So he's one person in the early part of my career I'm very thankful for. And there were several others who were were just there being supportive and helping all of us sort of get through the trials and tribulations of a medical school career because it's very difficult and the work is very difficult and you, you suddenly are in a group of people where everybody is smart um, and, uh, and not just you. So you actually have to learn to deal with that. As a physician scientist, what do you see as being the most powerful aspects of this intersection, i.e. research and medicine, to advance discovery and patient care? Taking care of patients was really, really important and something that I felt very comfortable doing. I enjoyed being with people. I enjoyed being with patients. But I realized that I wanted to do do more than that. I wanted to try to help find answers to questions. And over time, at first I started doing laboratory-based research, and I found that that took me too far away from patients. So then I, I decided on a career where I would actually be a conduit between the patients and their problems and the researcher who's doing basic research, trying to understand fundamental issues. Um, And so I spent most of my career in that in-between position of trying to understand what what were the problems that my patients were facing, what things we understood and did not understand. And if we didn't understand something, how could we go about finding what the truth was? So I feel very strongly that research and doing research and doing it right and working with people who work at the bench, who do fundamental research, working with people who who work in the clinic, you know, trying to establish protocols and studies that actually answer the question, that we don't do something just because we do it or just because we believe that it's right. We do something because we have proven that it's the right thing to do. And I think a place like UCSF is designed to help people understand how to bridge bridge that gap between what we know and what we don't know and what works for patients and what doesn't work for patients. And so um, I think that's an important activity that we should continue to be part of. Not everybody will be interested in doing research, and that's fine. They may be interested in just executing the care care for their patients. But I would hope that most of the people here would always have a questioning mind. Um, in fact, I think that people should not believe anything. Um, they should actually want to be shown the, the proof that something does or does not work, and they can understand how to answer the questions that they have. So all students who leave UCSF should have that ability. How do you think a UCSF medical student can best advance the school's public service mission around health equity, diversity, and inclusion? 
I think at this point in time, I want them to focus on their studies and not worry about the fact that 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 they have to actually do so much in the community. But when they do, the things that they can do that will help that. The first is just learn as much as they can learn about the field of medicine so that they can be the best physician that they they can be going forward. When they have an opportunity to work in the community, they should represent the profession at the highest level possible by their behavior and how they treat people and, and how they act. Uh, it's a public service for them to do that in the right way and to treat people in the right way because people will recognize that as a medical student, they will be a future doctor and they want to see our students uh, do the right thing at every stage in their career. So Dr. King, the Bridges curriculum was designed to support and foster the core values of a UCSF physician. These include meeting the needs of a diverse population of patients, advancing science, continuously improving the quality of health care for all patients, interprofessional and interdisciplinary teamwork, and addressing health disparities. What practical advice would you give a first-year student on keeping these values in focus during their training? We actually are going to try to make it so that every day as you work, those values are front and center in how you're thinking about what you're doing and what you're learning. And so I hope that the students will find it easy to stay true to their values because we are going to try to live it on a daily basis. Now that we've heard from Dr. King about patients who inspired him and what he found most impactful in medical school, let's find out what first-year student Ryan Battee anticipates will be the most exciting part of his journey through medical school at UCSF. So I'm here with first-year medical student Ryan Battee, and we're speaking to his reflections looking forward to his career here at UCSF. So Ryan, what drew you to apply to UCSF School of Medicine? So I went to college in the area. I was a senior at Stanford while I was applying to medical school. And what really drew me to UCSF was that the patient population in San Francisco is so diverse and so unique. San Francisco is one of the most diverse cities in the country. And UCSF being the only medical school in the city provided me with a really good opportunity to get training to be a clinician that serves the diverse population that I think we're going to see in the future. Having started at UCSF this summer, what are you most excited about as you begin your journey through medical school here? So for me, being one of the younger students in my class, I think that what I'm most excited for is being able to figure out what drives me as a physician. A lot of my classmates have passions that are already established through either prior graduate degrees or work they've done after college, but I'm really an open book at this point. So I'm excited to figure out what I want to do and leverage the massive resources that we have here to pursue it to the utmost extent. What vision for yourself as a future physician are you most keen to realize over the course of your training at UCSF? So I think one of the unique parts of UCSF's curriculum is that they're always driving us to be dissatisfied with the status quo, thinking that there's always room for improvement. There's room for improvement in terms of the techniques that we use for treatment, in terms of the systemic way that care is set up in our clinics, and the way that we interact with our patients. I'm excited to develop the skill to recognize what areas there are for improvement and take the steps to be able to act upon them. In your training so far, what approaches to thinking or aha moments or new ways of considering medical school problems have most impacted you? I think as part of our clinical microsystems clerkship, which is the more clinical part of our curriculum, um, we've talked a lot about how systemic barriers to care can serve just as much, if not more, um, as a barrier to patients receiving the care that they need than actual interactions with the clinicians. And I think that was really illuminating for me because I, the way I think is that I should be the best provider that I can be, and that should be enough for the patient. But what I've learned in the past two months here is that that's really not the case. We need to have an eye towards improving systems as a whole, and that's going to have a huge impact on the way patients view us and the way that patients view healthcare in this country as a whole. What courses or clerkships are you most excited about and why? 
So I'm actually really excited to do more procedural clerkships. So I'm interested in going to a specialty where I can do procedures either like in a cath lab or uh, in the operating room. So I'm really excited for shadowing a lot of different physicians. For example, today I'll be shadowing a plastic surgeon at Mount Zion. And I'm really excited about that because the culture of UCSF really facilitates MS1s being able to just go up to any faculty member and ask, I'm really interested in your work. Is there a way that I could learn more about what you do? And be invited on any given day to learn more, either through shadowing, through just having a talk, um, or even grabbing lunch. So I'm really excited for that culture of in informality that allows me to access all of the resources that this place has to offer. And any specific courses you're most excited about beyond the clerkships? I think I'm really excited for Health and Society, which to my understanding comes later this year. And the reason for that is that I feel that preventative health care in this country is not as emphasized as it should be. So I, ha I did an internship in Spain at a public hospital and found that while their treatment may not be as advanced there in terms of the technology that they're able to utilize, given that it's a public health care system, there was such a big emphasis on health as a lifestyle that I feel does not exist here. So having that background, um, I'm really excited to learn more about how our society's culture and the way that we live here affects our health on a day-to-day -day basis, aside from that tiny percentage of our time that we're spending in the doctor's office. Well, the enthusiasm and passion that both Dean Talmadge King and first-year student Ryan Batty E expressed about a career in medicine certainly makes me excited for this year's incoming class. We hope you're subscribing to The Spark on SoundCloud. Stay tuned for our next episode, which will feature professionalism in medical education and will highlight this year's recipients of the Maxine Papadakis Awards for professionalism and respect. The music in this podcast comes from Pottington Bears Egress, licensed under CC by NC 3.0 and available at the Free Music Archive.